Hello friends, this is Shrikant and today we will be solving this problem of chocolate fish of Hyderabad. So in this problem, little Bob loves chocolate and he goes to a store with N dollars in his pocket. The price of each chocolate is C dollars. The store offers a discount for every M wrappers he gives to the store, he gets one chocolate for free. How many chocolate does jo Bob get to eat? So basically we are given uh, N dollars and each chocolate costs C, uh, C dollars and uh, we have to uh, for each M wrappers we get one chocolate we have to find the total number of chocolates isn't it uh, so taking the inputs is already given T test cases we have, uh, input is also scanned so you have to find the total number of chocolates that Bob can eat, right? So let's create a function and uh, pass uh, this total chocolates and we'll pass these three parameters. How do we solve this problem? First, uh, in the initially we have n dollars and each chocolate costs c dollars. So the total number of chocolates out of this initial uh, money will be in. We will call it as wrappers. Okay, is equal to n by c. So this will be the uh, from C dollar, from N dollars we can buy N by C chocolates. Okay, this will be the number of wrappers. Now, uh, total variable is equal to the wrappers. Okay. Now currently we have we can eat wrapper number of chocolates okay n by c chocolates basically now with with these wrappers that we have we can buy uh, buy more chocolates right so as long as the number of wrappers we have currently in our hand is greater than equal to m we can take one chocolate take chocolates isn't it so that will be the condition of for a loop while wrappers greater than equal to m we can buy more chocolates right so how what will be the total number of chocolates that we can buy with that wrappers uh, that will be so we have to add those many chocolates to the total wrappers divided by m so uh, these may so for every m chocolates uh, for every m wrappers we can uh, get one chocolate ok so the total number of chocolates uh, that can be found out of wrappers uh, we have will be wrappers by m so suppose uh, for example m is 3 and the number of wrappers we have is 5 say so then we can get one chocolate that is we, by giving three wrappers we will get one chocolate 5 by 3 is 3 when division is of integers ok and then how, what will be the number of wrappers we will have now so the two wrappers are remaining and there will be one extra wrapper from the chocolate we have taken by giving three wrappers ok so wrappers is equal to wrappers divided by m this is the wrappers that we have uh, got from giving uh, m wrappers 
for every m wrappers we are getting one chocolate right this portion of the wrappers will be for that and the remaining wrappers will be you got by wrappers modular m so in the example we have considered suppose we had five wrappers and m was three so five by three will be one okay and five modulo three will be two these are the remaining wrappers and these are the uh, wrappers uh, which we get by giving m wrappers okay after that uh, what we will do is we will return the Okay, this loop will run as long as we have wrappers greater than equal to them. Fine. So that seems to be enough for this problem. Let's try to run the sample test case. So the sample test case has passed. Uh, let's submit the board and see if all test cases pass. So all the test cases have passed successfully we have been able to success all this problem thanks for watching keep subscribing for more videos thank you